cool is that? Welcome to the channel. Smoke on the water. Dun, dun. I messed up a nice serene shot, didn't I? We are at Lake Waldron. Early. And it's foggy. And it's cold. And I have a hitchhiker again. Got there first. Hey, there's wild corn dogs growing over there. <laughs> oh, I didn't bring mustard. I got some salsa. That don't do. Oh, uh, it only works with mustard. Yeah, we might have some mustard plants on here. Wow, that's cool. Because the water is very warm. And there's a fish right there. See it, Jeff? That ripple. Huh? I think there's flock nest monsters in here. Let's go look and see. No swimming, bathing, wading, or water skiing. No hunting or fishing in the hours of darkness. And they're not responsible for death or theft. So I guess you can. God, he'll let you have 30 catfish? My goodness. He's pretty nice. Welcome to the channel guys. I am trying to determine exactly where I'm going to put this new building and uh, I have looked at every possible place I could put it and nothing comes out better than this place. Uh, now I got electric just there. There's no water lines. Uh, it's pretty close to the house. And I, I believe I am going to go ahead and run electric to it because uh, I, I do have an open breaker on that panel out there. So I've got to move these. And I did measure if I was to put it long ways this way, it's too long. You can't get a vehicle around it. Uh, when you live in a national forest, you got to have, you know, you got to be able to drive around your entire property. Uh, and I've already been through that once. So, and it probably wouldn't look good, you know, going the 20 foot direction. So we're just gonna lay it with the doors. I'm gonna put the front doors about right here. So I have a nice path if I wanna haul lumber or whatever I wanna do. And just, it's gonna go this way. It's the best place for it. Hey, you know, people say, well, it's gonna block your view. Well, I've been here 10 years. I know what it looks like back there. And if I want to see that view, I'll go up on the deck, you know, and then you can still see. It's not that tall of a building, so I don't think that's going to make much difference. So, uh, let's see. It's 20 foot long, and I want it about even with the house. So, that would be about here. Let's just get an idea how big it is. Let's see, 16 feet. Yeah, right here where my foot is. So about, you know, the, almost the length of the uh, back of the house, not quite. Because that porch there is 16 feet. And then they probably got another 10 feet there. But, uh, you know, I don't have really hardly any trees that are going to be a threat. These two I do plan to take down, but that one's leaning that way. And this one's kind of leaning that way, but I'm, I'm taking both of these trees down. Uh, I'm not gonna take a chance on that. Uh, 
Okay, so it's going to come to about here. And if I want the front door there. So right about here. So it's going to come back to here. Plenty of space for a fire truck, a truck, or whatever. Then if I want, since the back of the building is right here, let me see if you get you guys me get you guys better okay so the back of the building will come to about here or just a couple feet on oh, no, it'll come where was I <laughs> it's gonna come to about here I could actually make a carport if I wanted to off of one side and just drive my truck up here uh, it's still gonna be I may have to move it up a little bit here that'll buy me a few you know I could probably come Oh, probably another three feet up here before it starts to slope down. Now, the land does slope this way some. So what we're going to probably end up having to do is it's, uh, I'm not going to have it touching the ground at all. It's going to be on all blocks. But we'll have a couple flat blocks on that end. And then down here, it's probably going to be high enough to put a cinder block under it. So it also slopes this way slightly. So we'll get that part figured out. That's no problem. It's doable. Uh, I really don't want it so high that dogs are going to get under it. But, you know, they're not really going to hurt nothing. These these two aren't diggers, so they're not going to dig nothing out. Now, if it was Waldo, oh, there'd be craters under there. So, yeah, I do think this is the best spot. And like I said, I can just run off that pole right there. There's an available breaker. Uh, I believe a 30 amp breaker, which is, and a 50 amp breaker is in there. It has room, but I don't want to over, I don't have 200 amp service. So I don't want to overload it, but you know, I'm not running everything at once. And I'll just have to keep that in mind. If I'm running anything in, in the shop, then I don't want all the air conditioners or heaters blaring. And I'll just have to, you know, remember that. And it, it should be fine. Because I don't have a whole lot of things running. And I have those portable boxes I could use as well. But I still need lights in the building. You know, I don't want some of them stupid stick lamps in there. I want a real light. I already got one. So, this is the most flattest spot. You know, the, the flattest spot. This is all hard packed stuff. So, it's, it's not going to be an issue. But, we do got water that flows you know not a lot so it'll just go underneath it and the reason I want the skids off the ground is because it's going to go this way and the skids go that way and I don't want it blocking moisture uh, if water does if we get a bad flood and water does flow this way I don't want them constantly be get, getting wet even though they're treated they'll last probably way longer than I'm gonna live so uh, but I still don't want to do that. We'll put them on some blocks and raise it up just a little bit where moisture could get under there. So, all right. So I'm going to start moving these things. I don't even know where I'm going to put them. Uh, and that's something else because I'm planning to, I wanted to fence this in here and come out here uh, probably 10 feet. About to where that grill, well, a little further than that grill. I want to come out here and have a little enclosed fenced area. And I'm going to put all gravel in here. Probably about right to here, you know, three feet away from this grill. About where the dog kennel, if you remember that when that was up, about as far as that went. But I need to keep that in mind when I put the building. This should not be in the way. But these fence posts can actually come down here. Or uh, probably right in here is where I'll lay the fence posts. Because that's where it starts to flatten out again. And yeah, all this is going to be moved again. I think. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. I do not want as many tubs next year. So I'm going to reduce the amount of tomatoes I plant. I'm, I mean, I'll, I'll probably plant in all the tubs, just not all tomatoes. Well, there's Miss Lily. 
Now this is another possible location because these kind of trees aren't really any kind of a threat. It would actually provide some pretty good shade, but I don't think there's enough room to get it in between these built uh, trees. We'll see. Now, this would actually be a really good spot. A little further for the electric, but still doable. Yeah, see I'm at 16 feet right here. It's not going to fit in here that way. And it would look funny sideways up in here. Unless I ran it up into there. That, I don't think that would look good. I don't know. So that's what I'm saying. There's it, The whole property is nothing but slopes and hills. So I mean, and I don't want it over, way over here. This is way too far. I don't have to walk way over here every time. And if I wanted to do the carport, that would just not be smart <laughs> to be way over here. And, the, you know, this is going downhill as well. Now, here's a pretty good spot. But again, it's pretty far away. Not too terribly bad. But, uh, yeah, I don't like all these. That tree's dead, so that's uh, I'd have to cut that down before you, which I could do. But yeah, this is too far, and the, the price of price of uh, electrical wire now, I ain't gonna buy that much. If I put it here, I got enough wire in the shed, I think, to do it. So decisions, decisions. Well, you're getting to enjoy the day out today, ain't you? Yeah, you didn't get to come out much yesterday, and you guys were all misbehaving when I got home. Every one of you. You don't care. All right, and just because I'm getting a shed doesn't mean I'm not going to still cover these windows and winter and get this insulated for winter. And I've figured out how to do that. Uh, I'm going to take two by fours and possibly or one by twos. I'll probably rip these down the middle, and I'm going to frame this out all the way around. So it'll be something like that, only not this one. I don't need four inches. Uh, so I'm going to frame this all the way around. Then I'm going to cut out, uh, I'm going to get like some half inch plywood. And I'm going to cut out panels that will screw right into them. So springtime comes, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws pop out. Uh, and pull the panels out and store them for summer. On the inside of the plywood will be the square foam board so that this area will be insulated all the windows will be insulated just like I did last winter only it's going to have the plywood it's going to be a much better seal I'll probably put weather stripping all the way around it so when it the plywood presses in it's it forms a nice uh, windproof seal that will be a very simple job I just yeah I probably got the materials here on on the place uh, and just buy a couple more sheets of this uh, foam board up here so that's the plan for this room and let me get you in here see so it'll come out to about here so I'm basically just gonna have these all cut to fit place them in there drive a couple of screws in and there we go it's insulated the screen can stay intact uh, but I'll, I'll have them back just far enough to where when I have the insulation on it, it'll just barely touch the screen. And that stuff gets wet. It doesn't hurt it. So, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. And I can paint these, you know, the plywood the same color as the house. So it'll look good. Let me get this thing fixed. So that's the plan for that. We're still going to do this and we're going to do it soon because it's start, it's 32 degrees this morning. I had to scrape ice off the windshield. So we're going to do that with these windows and, you know, over here, uh, these will have to be, you know, they're all different sizes. Now the door, I'm buying a new door. Uh, fortunately, when I built this, I filmed it or I, I framed it out the same size as these doors. So I can go pick up another one of these metal doors, but I think I want one with glass in it, a window. So it may be more like the one upstairs off the uh, loft. We're going to go up there in a second. But uh, yeah, this, this door, and this door was never meant to be permanent anyway. 
it was just something I built and put up for now but I do want to make this a little more secure I haven't had any issues around here but you know all somebody's got to do is just take a knife and cut the screen right now and they can come in here and I don't try to keep anything valuable in here and you know these these got dead bolts but if somebody gets to this far you know these doors aren't going to stop them either so yeah we're going to pick up a new door uh now that may not be for a while but i can still put the foam or whatever on there because i tell you the way i had it last year when i had the puppies in here it stayed warm and the rain did not come in nothing well rain did come in <laughs> i never forget that and guttering you must get that guttering up before it starts rain getting the rainy season which is about december from december on and we don't get all the snow a lot of places get but we get rain now let's go up in the loft and take a look at the view from there and the building show you how the building probably ain't going to be affecting that all right so as you can see this is plenty high enough that building probably isn't no more than 10 feet tall at the peak so you're going to easily be able to see over it yeah it's going to be a little eyesore you know but what are you going to do so it doesn't bother me shouldn't bother nobody else uh, it's got to go somewhere anywhere you put it, it's going to take away from something the way i look at it now if i didn't have the dogs yard there that there's several possibilities there i could even still put it in there uh it would certainly be a lot easier for uh running electric but that gate i'd have to tear the fence down like i did when uh, they brought the fifth wheel out and i don't know i don't know that i want it here because these dogs are diggers what are you chewing on lily you don't need to be chewing on that wood. Uh, let her do what she wants. What do you got? She is into that piece of wood. All right. So unless I uh, come up with a better plan, it's right there. It's where it's going. And you got to remember, the guy has to pull up through here in a truck, a big truck. And he can pull, right, when he pulls in the driveway, he can head off onto the property here come all the way around the house and the doors will be on the driver's side so he can just stop right here pull all the way up unload the shed then he can continue on out when he's done a nice circular driveway so there should be no problem with him getting in there uh, the only thing he's got to run over is the septic lines that should be plenty deep and that should be plenty well packed i've drove trucks over it we've had big tanker trucks when the fire department was here it didn't hurt anything so i'm not worried about that as long as he doesn't come too close to the septic tank uh, now i know where that is you can tell by the grass so that's about it man so i don't know they just told me sometime maybe next week maybe next week there was no guarantee it should come pretty quick because it's already on their lot yeah i didn't custom order anything uh, it's the brand new one that was on the lot so when it comes you'll know because i'll be filming it and this morning we went me and jeff went and looked at another place uh, that had sheds the one here in waldron uh pretty much had the same sheds we looked at but they were more expensive so uh I, that's why i don't shop locally i mean it's it's always that way here in a lot of places so and nobody was there they all said they were open but they weren't all right guys thanks for watching uh we'll get some more action for you i don't know what i'm gonna do on the other channel today but i gotta do something happy trails